What's going on guys, Josh Pocock here, and we've covered many different AI coding agents on this channel. But in today's video, we're gonna be looking at a tool called Ditto, a tool made by the founder of Baby AGI, the simplest self-building AI coding agent. I'm gonna show you how you can set it up. Let's dive right into it. So Ditto is a user-friendly tool that allows you to generate a multi-file Flask application from a single natural language description using a no-code interface. By leveraging a simple LLM loop with a few tools, Ditto automates the coding process, occasionally turning your ideas into a functional web application or at least trying and getting close. So it has simple natural language input, automate code generation, self-building agent, modular structure. The prerequisites you'll need is Python 3.7 or higher, and you're going to need pip for the package manager so to get started we're simply going to clone this repo right here so run git clone and then the repo url once you run that command you're going to change directory into ditto so run cd ditto so after you're in the ditto environment you can run this command to create a virtual environment and then you can either run this command if you're on linux or mac or this command if you're on windows to activate the virtual environment after you activate your virtual environment you can run pip install light LLM right here to start installing the dependencies. So once you install that, you're going to want to set the API keys. So you can either do this with Anthropic, you can do this with OpenAI, or you can even run local models, which would mean you wouldn't set an API key. So you can either export your environment variables like so on Mac or Linux, or set them on Windows. You could actually run set X2 to make it a permanent environment variable um, or run it in PowerShell. And then you could also set up um, environment variables using python.env. So you would just run pip install python.env and then you would use uh, code dot to open up the repo into VS code. And then you would just create a dot env file and then you could create your environment variables such as OpenAI API key and then put your API key right here and then save that file. All right, so those are the two options you have for the environment variables. Once that is done, you're going to want to install the requirements.txt file. This is something that it doesn't mention in here for some reason, but you can just run pip install dash r and then requirements.txt right here to start installing all the requirements. Once that's done, you can simply run python main.py to start the Flask app. It's going to open up on port 8080. All right, so here's our prompt here for creating a simple Flask app called Habit Tracker with a modern responsive UI. The app should include a homepage displaying a list of daily habits with checkboxes to mark them as complete. Provide an add habit form, let users add new habits and history page to view completion records over time, use SQLite for data storage, tracking each habit daily, status, and there should also be a daily journal integration with it, integrate a search bar to filter habits by name, and add notifications for actions like adding or completing an, a habit to enhance user experience. We're going to click on submit, and you'll see progress right here. And this is what it's going to look like. We can see iteration one, tool call, we got a plan right here, we got the database setup, the roots, the template, the static files, the notifications, the code setup, and then it's going to start executing on this. So it's creating directory. All right, so the necessary directories are in place and step-by-step -step implementation. So templates and static assets, database initialization, creating files, creating the HTML templates, creating the layout.html. You can see iteration two, iteration three right here, iteration four, iteration five, six. Okay, so if we actually open up our Ditto repository in VS Code, we can actually see our templates right here, our static files, our routes, everything that it just generated. All right, so one thing you're probably gonna wanna do is you're going to want to stop the Flask server you were running on and then rerun the Python main.py file to restart the Flask server right here. And I open it. And you can see here is our habit tracker app. We can add a new habit right here. So let's go ahead and do test. Okay, we just added a daily habit. As you can see here, we got a toast notification. We can update habits. So like, let's say habit updated successfully. We can see history right here. So this is today's date. We can see our journal right here. So let's say test journal. Okay, we can see our previous entries right here getting saved in our database. We can go to our home and this is where we'll see all of our daily habits. So we can go up here to our search bar and we could search for gym, for example, and now we can see our daily habit of gym. 
and we can see all this is being saved in our habit tracker database right here so this is all with one shot from this specific prompt all right now the thing with ditto is it's really not good for iteration so it really just generates one shot apps one shot flask apps right out of box and it's pretty good for that if you're going to want to iterate on top of it you're probably going to want to use something like cursor or whatnot to continue out building the app now once it builds one app it's going to basically change the routes for um the flask creation app so you're going to want to if you want to generate another app after that you can simply copy the main.py file right here to another location and then run that again so if i paste in the code right here to the main.py file and save that okay so we can simply stop running that last app and just run python.main.py again into our new directory Okay, we can say the server is up again on the same port. And once you got the Flask server up and running, you can keep generating new apps again and again with different prompts. All in all, I think Ditto is pretty good for specific uh, apps around Flask. It's a very simple self-building co coding AI agent, so it's really not, um, you know, at, on the same level as some other AI coding agents that we've covered here. But he does also mention at the bottom here that his main goal is to basically roll this into the baby agi framework so i think this is kind of a preview of what's coming if you guys are familiar with baby agi once he rolls this in we'll probably do another video updating on baby agi but all in all guys that's pretty much it for this video let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below around ditto i think it's mainly just a simple ai coding agent for flask apps specifically it'd be nice if it could do some other different languages or maybe had a bit more of you know ability to do iterations for the flask apps you generate but i still think it's pretty good to generate a app with multiple features for flask with just one shot prompts other than that guys if you're new here we upload videos every single day on ai automation marketing sales etc so if you like that type of content you got some value here make sure to comment down below smash the like button and subscribe to stay up to date with the daily uploads if you haven't already joined our free community stridecommunity.com i'll leave a link down below and then if you guys want help building your business book a call down below to see if we can help you with marketing sales implementing ai into your business whatever the case may be other than that guys i will see you in tomorrow's video keep hustling keep grinding and of course guys accelerate your stride take care are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock no more wasted time on training no more frustration with performance and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers introducing stride agents ai powered appointment setters that work 24 7 never get tired and book appointments while you sleep trained on thousands of successful conversations our ai agents outperform human teams at just one tenth of the cost join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks don't get left behind in the ai revolution visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting edge ai technology it's time to accelerate your stride with ai agents